Hey YouTube, Cave Dweller 1959. Previous video, I showed you this knife right here. Told you I was going to show you how I did it. Well, today's the day. I'm going to show you, and we're going to start off with that mark, maker mark right there. I said I burned it in with electricity. The knife we're going to be working with, Russell Green River 7 inch butcher knife, companion knife to that one. Excellent, excellent in the kitchen. Uh, before we go any farther, right here, the high, high polish, that's what they look like when they give it to you. I've given this one about 15, 20 minutes in acid. Knocks off that shine, takes you back to a very matte, matte finish. Good looking knife when you're done. Okay. I've already given it probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes ago, a good healthy coat of fingernail polish. Uh... El Cheapo stuff, 89 cents a bottle. Don't go spending too much money. It doesn't have a whole lot of use in the world. I'm going to uh, show you how I'm going to do this. This little guy right here, Exacto knife. The only reason I use this, because it was laying on the bench. If I didn't have it, I'd find something else. It'd work just as good. You don't have to have one. Use your imagination. Here we go. It's absolutely that simple. Don't have to get extravagant. That is my maker mark. And I wish the camera would kind of focus on me there, but it's not going to, but you get the picture. I'm going to shut this thing off. I'm going to get it ready to uh, burn in. I'll be right back. Hey, we're back ready to go here. Got everything lined up, ready to roll, I think I do believe. Uh, things I use. They're just in my shop. They're here. I don't have a reason for using this. It's just I found it, and this is what I do. Cotton ball right here. I take this little alligator clamp type thing. Hook it on there just like that. You want a big flat. You just want to put your initials in there. You want to put in something small. You don't need anything this big. I like going big. I like big. Okay, right there we go. We have got Sparky hooked up right there, the old 10 amper. You don't have a 10 amp, got a 12 volt battery, got anything. One thing you want to remember when you do this, you keep the red head on this side, the brunette on this side. Right there like that. Our solution is nothing more than vinegar with a pinch or two of salt in it. There is no recipe, there's nothing to it. I don't know the chemical, what's going to happen here, but it's pretty interesting. We're just going to burn and burn and burn and burn. We're going to fire up Sparky. I'm going to show you right now. She's a humming. She wants action. Enough time, this will start to heat. It'll start to boil. It'll start to smoke. And it is going to eat. That material away, we're actually going to burn that mark in there. Kind of like break bacon frying once it gets going. 
like I said, you don't have a uh, don't have a battery charger, anything that supplies electrical current. One thing I found that is creating heat. You stay in one spot too long, you will melt that fingernail polish. And that kind of have a negative effect on your mark. Move around, move around. I don't know how well that's showing up. But from where I'm sitting, it's showing up really well. Like I say, you just want your initials on your favorite knife. There's plenty, plenty, plenty of on there on the tube showing you how to do it with like a 9 volt battery and a Q-tip. No, no. We're going big. We're going deep. Yep, sounds just like bacon in the frying pan. Probably looks like that too, huh? It'll literally cook it dry if you leave it there long enough. You don't want your solution running past your fingernail polish. I think I'm going to call that good. We're going to uh, shut off Sparky here. I'm going to kill this video. When I come back, I'm going to take a can of acetone. I'm going to clean that fingernail polish off. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Hey, we're back one more time. That's cleaned up with the acetone right down to the bare metal. I think that's looking pretty good. You see right around the edges what I was telling you about if you cook too much right up around here. You can see where I went through. But that's the beauty of stain, uh, excuse me, high carbon. And doing this stuff yourself, every knife has its own personality. Everyone is different. This is just the beginning. Next video. On this knife, I'm going to show you how to paint that vine pattern on there. And I'm going to put it in the ferric solution. This entire everything is going to get cooked one more time in that. It's all going to wash. It's all going to bleed. It's going to look pretty cool. Thank you very much for watching this Cave Dweller 1959. Make sure you see video number two. Number three, I'm going to show you how to put scales on there. Dime with the old time gunsmith technique. Thanks a lot.